What's up folks? Maximilian here and welcome back to more Black Ops 2 with Maximilian. Wanted to talk a bit about uh, the state of Black Ops 2 and my current thoughts on the game. I'm just about to hit 8th Prestige <clears throat> and I've been working my way up in the ranks using a lot of different guns and uh, essentially trying to gold out as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was some of the stuff that kind of bugs me that uh, even the developers of the game refuse to acknowledge. Uh, so let's Let's get into it. I started off my evening last night of playing a little bit of Black Ops 2, um, but before that, I wanted to have a little bit of perspective. So I threw in Call of Duty 4, fired up a few matches, and I threw in uh, Modern Warfare 2 and fired up a few matches as well. The reason I threw in these games is because COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 and World at War, these games don't have theater mode, and to be honest, when it comes to the console experience, these two titles seem to be the most precise as far as uh, when you shoot a guy, they properly die, and when you run into people, you know, the, the actual skirmish, skirmish between you and people seems to work out like you see each other at approximately the same time, or a very, very, very little difference between it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still getting off of my, uh, my cold I was talking about the other week. Um, so here's... One of the biggest issues with Black Ops 2 is that the overall, the this is what I call the Call of Duty metagame. Um, and this is, I mean, granted, I understand where you guys are coming from. Max, you do so well in Black Ops 2. Why are you complaining about this stuff? Uh, it's not as much me complaining. Well, it is a little bit of me griping and shit like that. But it is mostly to the fact that I just, I want to play another game like Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 felt. And uh, that's why I'm talking about it. So... The metagame of Call of Duty is flawed in Black Ops 2, which is why it already isn't a, uh, which is why it's kind of a, a botched experience. Um, this has been the same for Modern Warfare 3. Oh, here's a perfect example of something that happens way too often if you ever play Domination. If you do well in these games, dude, people just leave. It's really annoying, and it never happened nearly as much in the previous ones. That's a whole other story of things that it's that's really wrong with Black Ops 2. Um, but moving into the metagame, the metagame of Call of Duty is you have this thing called the run button. By running, you do not have access to your knife, you do not have access to your weapon for a very small period of time. You have a recovery animation, and during that recovery animation, that's the time you have to wait to actually attack your opponent. Now, the trade-off for this is that when you run, you're much faster, you gain mobility, you're speedier, things of that nature. <clears throat> However, the metagame of that trade-off is gone in Black Ops 2. Let's take a situation where I'm, I'm around a corner, I know an enemy is, is about to show up, and I'm aimed down sights waiting for him to be there. Uh, what happens is, that person is in a run animation and will proceed to exit their run animation and try to shoot me because they see me. However, because I'm already prepared and ready for that person, I will just press the fire button, giving me the advantage, and almost every single time, the victory. That is in a regular Call of Duty situation, not Black Ops 2. And if you go back and you played Modern Warfare 2, I was actually testing this out. Um, Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4, you get these things called individual skirmishes, as I like to call them. These are the moments where you and somebody else are running around and you run into each other at the same time. And there's this moment, this moment where, oh shit, I see you. Oh shit, you see me. And you exchange in a gunfight. That is called gunplay. That's essentially what a lot of the devs at Call of Duty try to hark back of what they're trying to bring the game back to is the gunplay of Call of Duty. And to be honest, gunplay hasn't existed in any Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2. And in Modern Warfare 2, it was kind of botched because guns were so damn powerful. Um, because in this game, there's such an issue with the connection and the netcode between the players that there's several milliseconds going on in between each person's skirmishes that it doesn't matter. All that matters is who's got the better connection at the time. Like, look at these. These guys can't even shoot me straight. And I'm just able to walk circles around them. This, this happens in Black Ops 2, and this is how people get good games in Black Ops 2. So, nonetheless, let's move forward. The metagame of Call of Duty has been gone for a, a little while now. Um, that metagame being the trade of the trade of speed for the trade of uh, of being aware and persistent with your gun ready. And in Black Ops 2, it's gone because whoever's at the higher end of the connection, that person will get the advantage. So you could be in run animation, dudes pointed at you waiting. It doesn't matter. You just wait and shoot a guy, uh, and it's it's really upsetting. 
the only reason I talk about this now is because I have this perspective. I just went back to COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2 recently, and I was able to see the fact that, oh, this is exactly how it goes. This is this is how Call of Duty used to be. This is This is what made these games so good. And it's kind of the most basic of functionality, right? The most... The most basic things is that you shoot the guy that's in front of you, and the guy in front of you is seeing the similar or the exact same scenario as you are. And throughout that process, you exchange at a gunfight. Um, and it's fun. It's, it's really fun. Even Call of Duty 4, without its crazy score streaks and insane stuff and pretty basic weapons and no and crazy attachments, that game feels better than any other Call of Duty uh, since, well, not really including Modern Warfare 2, because that one still felt pretty good. Because everything just works, even with a three-bar connection, it still works, and you still run into people and exchange in gunfights, you still have proper gunplay. And the biggest problem, and the reason I talk about this now, is because Activision, or the people that have been developing Call of Duty, um, more specifically Treyarch, with recent comments from their community manager and lead developer, uh, don't believe that there's a problem. They say they think that everything's absolutely fine and everyone's seeing the exact same thing. And anybody that has quite literally half a brain and has played anything but, you know, super casual Call of Duty and actually enjoys competitive gaming will tell you otherwise. Will tell you that there's definitely something going on when you're aiming right at a guy and on his screen he's already strafed five feet to the left and that never happened on your screen. Um, this is a big issue, uh, and it's kind of going to be the downfall of Call of Duty. It kind of already has started because, like I was saying before, Black Ops 2 isn't selling nearly as good because it doesn't have the word of mouth, dude. Everyone everyone that gets the game goes online and says, I can't kill anybody. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Sometimes I have an amazing game, and sometimes you don't. What makes the crazy good Call of Duty players from the other ones, and a lot of you guys would be saying, well, Max is only good because he's seconds ahead of everybody. Um, everybody gets this. Not, not not only does one person always get this, I don't always get this by any means, because the host, whenever I play, changes every single round. And it becomes absolutely ridiculous. And if I'm ever the host, because I have a very good connection, it lags me behind, which is that lag compensation thing. Anyway... Um, Max only gets good gameplays because he's, you know, a quarter of a second and 250 milliseconds ahead of everybody else of what's going on. Uh, I beg to differ. Sure, everybody else has their ins and outs. Everybody else has the good games, you know, where it just seems like, I'm just winning every gunfight. This game's freaking awesome, you know? It feels great. It feels like Call of Duty. It's the most amazing game ever. And then that quickly goes down the toilet when you run into the next match and it's completely different and you can't kill anybody. Um... What what it's important to be good at newer Call of Duties, this is essentially Black Ops and Beyond, is to take advantage of those situations, to be extremely persistent with the moments where you do have a good connection or you're under a bad connection and you're able to manage a decent game. Still go two to one, don't go negative, stuff like that. That's what makes the good players good. And that's really sad because Call of Duty now has become, as far as like being well, being good online, it's become a game of fighting the connection. It's become a game of es of establishing what type of connection is going on in the game that you're playing and how you're supposed to handle that. And whoever handles the connection the best, whether it's a good or bad one, is going to be a person that is quote-unquote decent at the game. Um, which wasn't the case for Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Uh, now, a lot of you guys will argue, like, well, Max has only been good at these games because you know of this connection issue, like I was just saying. Uh, I, I beg to differ because my, my kill-death ratios in, uh, and my overall win ratios in Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, and World at War were better than almost any other Call of Duty except the original Black Ops. Um, those games just felt good to me, and I was, through, through pinpoint timing, through proper aiming and accuracy, you're able to win those gunfights, and it, it feels really satisfying. Like, I encourage anybody who is having a frustrating time with Black Ops 2 right now Try out COD 4, there's still people playing. Try out Modern Warfare 2, even though there's a lot of hacked lobbies. And you will understand what I mean. You play dudes in Spain, and the game still feels great. Um, and I only hope that the future of Call of Duty, if they eventually do release, you know, a collection, it doesn't include theater mode, so we can actually properly enjoy the game. Leave a comment if you guys happen to agree with me, and thank you very much for watching the gameplay, and I'll see you next time.